I do not like when people do this. I find pennies on stones all the time and I don't like it. Have you ever walked through a cemetery and seen change on top of headstones? You know, I'm talking about pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, or strange coins that have no monetary value whatsoever. I'm gonna explain to you why. Quite honestly, if you wanna find yourself in the middle of a brawl in Arlington National Cemetery, you go ahead and start clearing off the tops of those gravestones from the dimes, quarters, and other coins that you see placed on top of them. We're not just scooping a bunch of change off for the bus, shoving it in our pockets, and then walking away. It's a sign of remembrance. And we all need a class on this because some people just don't know enough about it. But before we get into that, did you hear something? Raid Shadow Legends. And keeping up with being one of the most entertaining games for either your mobile phone or PC, Raid is releasing a premiere animated limited series called Raid. Call of the Arbiter. The first episode is out now, but they're having a new episode every Thursday at 10 a.m. from now until July 20th. And you can watch it free in-game. The first episode about Gallup allows you to see behind the scenes and get some backstory on Gallup, who is already one of Raid's most iconic champions. It adds to the deep complexity of the characters and gameplay of Raid Shadow Legends. My favorite part about Call of the Arbiter is how it's expanding this entire world of Raid. And on top of that, Raid is releasing lore and and behind the scenes episodes on YouTube. The limited series expands the world of Raid in a way that's never been seen before. You're also getting a bunch of Call of the Arbiter related features, including new champion bios to dig into, ranging from champions from the feature in the show like Gaelic, Athel, Kale, and Alhane, to fan favorites like the Death Knight or the Silda Drakes and more. This launch offers a ton of new stuff for people who have been playing Raid, and if you haven't jumped in, this is probably the most exciting time to join Raid. From now until July 24th, if you just play Raid for seven days, you get a brand new champion. Artak, one of the five new characters from the show, as a playable legendary champion. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, use my link in the description or get a scan from my QR code to get insane bonuses. We're talking about epic champion Knight Aran from the Bannerlords faction and other useful things. And once you're in crushing your enemies, you can join me. Angry Cops. Just click my link in the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. Now back to the task at hand and informing you on why you shouldn't pick up coins on top of a gravestone. Especially if it's so outwardly obvious that a veteran is buried there. Let's watch this middle-aged man's full mistake before we go any further. You guys want to see the coolest tombstone up here in my opinion? We'll go over here and look at it. This this stone right here, this is my favorite stone in the entire cemetery. That is a beautiful headstone. I do not like when people do this. I find pennies on stones all the time and I don't like it. But this is this is the nicest stone in the cemetery in my opinion. Look at this right here. It's got this like layering, you know, like it's like draped over. It's very nice. If you like history, you're gonna like this. Way back in the Greek days with Zeus and Hercules and all these fantastic gods throwing lightning bolts down from Mount Olympus to the lowly mortals that live down below. The dead would have to cross the river Styx in order to make it into the afterlife and friends and family wanted to make sure that they could afford the toll and pay the boatsmen that slowly paddled the boat across the river Styx to bring their loved ones into the afterlife. And that man needed money. So often they would take coins and either put them over the eyes or in the mouth of their loved ones. Which is a shame because I don't think anybody wants to go to the afterlife with their mouth tasting like a bunch of rusty pennies. Blah. Nowadays things and traditions have changed to not so much us throwing money on top of guys' faces or shoveling it down our dead friends' mouths, but we bring coins, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, etc to the gravestones of those that have passed away in remembrance. Pennies mean that you just wanted to pay your respects. And if you've ever gone to Arlington National Cemetery, the amount of pennies that have been placed upon Audie Murphy's gravestone, probably enough to fill a dumpster. Nichols, a strange one, but it means you went to basic training with that person. Maybe even your advanced individual training if you want to church it up a little bit. So if you see a nickel, you know that those guys have been friends since way back. A dime means that you were deployed with that person, you served alongside them. For some, it means that they were in the same unit together and then, you know, went their separate ways. For others, it could mean that you deployed with them overseas. 
Finally, there's a quarter, which means that you were with that person when they passed away. So if you see quarters on top of a headstone, somebody probably was having a not so great day shortly before you showed up. And then finally, there's unit or branch coins. These coins are also placed on top of the headstones of people that passed away in the same way that all the other coins are placed on top of the headstones to show family members and loved ones that people are still visiting those that passed away. The phrase never forgotten rings true to those people. I myself make an annual trip down to Arlington National Cemetery to see Major Alan Johnson, who I was deployed with overseas when he unfortunately passed away in 2006. Or no, he passed away in 2007. We started the deployment in 2006. All these coins are a symbol showing family members and others that the loved one is not forgotten and that is still being visited. So there's your quick history on why we shouldn't go through a cemetery and start picking up the pennies, nickels and dimes on top of gravestones from veterans. I'm sure people hoped that I would fly off the handle and put the drill sergeant hat on and go absolutely nuts, but I'm also not sure if this is a complete and total troll, because if I wanted to psyop a bunch of army guys or veterans in general, not showing my face and pretending like I didn't know what a coin was on top of their headstone, and then going up and saying, oh, I don't like this, it looks like trash, and taking it and putting it in my pocket, basically grave robbing, is. That would be a way to ruffle a whole bunch of feathers intentionally. Now, I don't know where this original came from, but if this guy's trolling us, nice try, you didn't get me. But if you're not, well, at least I used this opportunity to explain to everyone why this ain't a fountain in the middle of the mall that you could just dip your hand in and scoop up your bus fare for, okay? If you think the guy did it on purpose, tell me why in the comments. If you think it's a troll, tell me why too. I want to know if he's a double agent. I'll see you next time, weirdos. Oh, speaking of a little bit of coin, if you want to support the channel, I got angry-cops.com. I'm doing live streams now. Yesterday I just talked about a hoax where homeless veterans were kicked out of uh, hotels. Well, they weren't. It was all bullshit. And also 60,000 pounds of explosives are missing, so check out those. Weirdos. Carry on. Have you? Shut up, dog. Golly. I can hear you playing with your bone, you dingus. Hey, you're very handsome, but like, shut the fuck up, okay? Thank you. Three-legged dogs. They're loud. Splice, splice them with the, with the rest. Sorry, Pat.